While Western New Yorkers are still battling the pandemic, they're also battling another issue, which appears to be getting worse, substance abuse. Tonight, Two On Your Side's Liz Lewin has more on a dramatic rise in overdose deaths in Erie County. We're all paying attention to our COVID-19 pandemic. However, we still have so many people in our community that are struggling with opioid use disorder. Erie County experienced 194 opiate related deaths in 2020 and are awaiting toxicology results of an additional 68 cases. This is the highest number they've seen in three years. We saw um, consistent decreases in number of opioid related overdose deaths. Unfortunately, this um, year in 2020, um, we are seeing an increase. Endeavor Health Services is one of several community organizations working with the county to address this problem. CEO Elizabeth Morrow says while extremely disappointing, the spike doesn't come as a shock especially considering COVID-19. When you isolate folks from their support systems and then add fear on top of it, um, you're going to create just a horrible mix. Throw health care employee shortages, hospital floor shortages, unemployment, a change in seasons, and an election year into that same mix. Morrow says the result is an undeniable increase in anxiety, depression, and substance abuse. If you have somebody who hasn't used for, for some time, and then um, goes back to using, often they go back to using at their prior level because they think that's what they can handle and they can't. And then you have an overdose, um, which leads, which can lead to tragedy. Dr. Burstein outlined several resources during Thursday's briefing, including virtual Narcan training, Narcan kits, 24-7 hotline support, even in-person support through an app called Never Use Alone. They will call you or text you um, five minutes after you start using, and uh, if you do not respond, they will call 911. For more information on Erie County's mental health and substance abuse resources, visit WGRZ.com. Liz Lewin, Channel 2 News.